Hello Mallards, it is still Tuesday, but for your sake, we're gonna pretend it's Wednesday. Hi, welcome to Wednesday. Uh, Mary and I are on our way over to the Dr. Phillips Center to see our favorite show, Cats. Uh, which I haven't seen live on stage since I moved to Florida. Um, and I don't know when's the last time you saw Cats. <laughs> I have uh, a community theater production. Oh, yeah, which I have not seen a community theater production. Uh, but I do have a new life goal. First off, I want to see a community theater version of Cats. So if you know a local group doing Cats, please let me know. We'll travel. Would have a great time. Uh, would love it, especially if it's like high schoolers. Also, I'll, I'll take anybody. A group of geriatrics doing cats would also be great and I would be really into it. So like, you you know people doing cats, let me know. Uh, but I've also decided that I have a new life goal along with the interactive production of Peter Pan that I want to stage sometime in my life. I would like to do a version of cats for like very small elementary school children uh, that we've decided should be called kittens for obvious reasons. And Mary will just uh, suffer through its existence. <laughs> we're gonna have fun. We are going to not sing along because we're not rude. Or maybe sing along quietly because we're not rude. Uh, but I'm looking forward to see how this is staged and to see all the costumes. And also, I think some of the people we follow on TikTok are in this, so we get to see them in real life. <laughs> wow, I love this already. Look at this set. Look, it's so pretty. Look at this giant tiger on the floor. Why do you exist? No one knows. Does it matter? Not even a little bit. We're cats. Ah, thrilling. I'm also excited for this, this lighting strand to light up. All the fun stuff. It is intermission. It's already so good. Um, okay, wait, so what is it called? when it's at the beginning of the show. The music, like just instrumentals at the beginning. The overture. Overture, there we go. I was like, on track is not the word. On track is still not the word. <laughs> overture. Uh, was really pretty. I liked the lighting effects. They're always really fun, but this was especially really cool because during the blackout, they like dropped, uh, actually Mary will tell you what it is. <laughs> what, what did they drop? A, a ring press of movie lights. And so we had been staring at the stage because the stage is just open the whole time. And then they black out, they start the music, and then this ring truss on the ground lights. It was really cool. <laughs> I was delighted. I clapped for the lights. And I have no shame in that. But it's been really fun so far. Incredible performers. Uh, Rum Tum Tugger, giving it all he's got, as he should. He knows he's the star of this show, that no one cares about anyone else. People know the song memory, but they know Rum Tum Tugger the cat. If I gave people a line of cats and was like, hmm, can you name any of these? I feel like he'd be the only one. Just the general populace. I can't even name all of the cats. I know a lot of them, but I cannot pick them necessarily out of a crowd. You? Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I know Cassandra and Victoria, uh, and most of the ones with solos. Although, what happens to Jenny Any Dots? She just like she just got his her one thing, and then she goes. I mean, she must become another cat, an unnamed cat, I guess. I think about that a lot because everybody else, like, either starts as unnamed and then becomes their character, and is their character most of the time. You know? Yeah. Like, we see Skimbleshanks. Like, we see Rum Tum Tugger. He's somebody else in the beginning, but then once he's made his appearance, he's himself. Mr. Mistopheles is there the whole time. Like, but what happens to Jenny Any Dots? If anybody knows, let me know. I'm just curious. Where does she go? She's the only one. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. Buster for Jones, but we know. But we know that he becomes. Gus. And Gus we saw. So like Yeah, where does Jenny and Dots go? I don't I don't know. But it's really fun. I can't wait. 
for the rest. I'm having a delightful time. The dancing is really good. It's also, so you have seen a like professional production of Cats? Never. Okay, so this is really fun for Mary. Uh, but what I like about our view is the dance numbers look really cool from up this high. Like you can see all of the movement. And the only other times I've seen this, I was like down on the ground where you can like see the front row pretty well, but you can't see the whole choreography wheel happening. Or the filmed version where you're, you know, this close to everybody the whole time. And so you're really not seeing the whole choreography at all. So that's been really cool. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? It's fun. Do you have a favorite part? Uh, of cats in general. Like, maybe uh, we haven't gotten to it yet. God. I was obsessed with the Stoffelies. Oh, okay. okay. Fully. Fully obsessed with the Stoffelies. Yeah. Up, so. so we're waiting for that. <laughs> we're waiting for that. It's definitely going to be magical. Gus, mm -hmm. uh, Skimble Shanks. Yeah. yeah. I like the Stoffelies. I also like Rum Tum Tugger. Oh. Well, you know. I relate to a cat that can't make up its mind. I had those cats. So now we're gonna wait for act two to start. The show is over. I forgot that like the second act, McCavity just turns out all the power. Uh, and the way they play with light and this is so fun. I love the lighting. Yeah. Like all of the little, like they use like the railway cat light to like explore after McCavity disappears and that effect is really cool. And there's a lot of like dim lighting. There was a moment which was actually in the first act before uh, the theater cat bit where they put out the footlights and Mistopheles like magically yeah. lit them and that was so cute yeah, too. Like yeah, and then of course part of act two is <laughs> Magical Mr. Mistopheles. How did you feel about that, Mary? It was beautiful. They did, I don't even know, like a, <clears throat> I guess probably an LED jacket that he wore that could change colors. Uh, and so as he danced and did magic, his jacket changed colors. And then he lit up yeah. a whole other cat, which I did not expect. I didn't either. It, it was really cool. <laughs> like, cheered, clapped, really enjoyed them. You were satisfied. Oh, it was, it was really good. It was just so much fun. <laughs> And the ladies next to, I don't know if Mary could hear them, but the ladies next to me have clearly have no idea what Cats is. Uh, we're maybe a little bit confused, but then when it finished, the lady said, I had a really good time. And I was like, that describes Cats. I don't know what's happening, but I had a really good time. It's so good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. 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 Um, it does still have a weird ending. I always I think mean, yeah. that how you address the cat is sort of anticlimactic after <laughs> the heavy side layer. Like, like it really, really builds to this weird ending. Well, it's, it's lyrics on par with and stuff that Nemo. <laughs> Let me remind you that a cat is not a dog. Mm -hmm. yep. And then sing it really forcefully again. Mm -hmm. That is important. <laughs> so if there's anything you should take away from this show, it's that a cat is not a dog. Yeah. The other thing you should take away is that this show is really fun and it's very clear partially that everybody on stage is having fun. Like they're having a blast, we're having a blast. Go see cats. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>